Hello? It's me, Naomi. Um, can I talk to you? Oh, my dear daughter. I'm so happy to see your message pop up. How's your day, darling? Well, it was good until I received a notification about a new transaction from the card I gave you last week. It was subtracted like $1,500, like five minutes ago. Have you just bought anything? I guess that was me. I withdrew a little cash to go shopping for my new apartment. Why didn't you say anything to me? Honey, I just moved into my new flat and got a lot of things to do. I was too busy to ask you, okay? Besides, that's just like pocket money to you. Why are you so mad? Olivia, it's not $15 or even $150. It's $1,500. How can you say that? It's just my pocket money. You know that. It's not my money, right? Yeah. I know it's your adoptive parents' money. So what? It'll end up yours very soon. I'm your biological mother, so I have the right to use the money that's supposed to be yours. That's obvious. No, it's not. You can't take their money for granted even though I'm their adopted daughter. It's not right for my real mother to so thoughtlessly use the money that hasn't belonged to me yet. Come on, Naomi. Your new parents are rich. I heard that a university professor can make 100k a year or even more. Who knows? Think about the cash I've just withdrawn. It's just a drop in the bucket. But they paid $4,800 for the new apartment you're living in. Don't you remember? But they promised to help me and your half-sister too. I'm grateful that they helped us rent a good flat. But I need more money for other things like groceries. I know. Then why do you need $1,500? I don't even spend more than $1,500 a week. I mean, you've taken almost 5 k from them in just a week here. You think I'm asking for too much, don't you? No, no. What I mean is that you don't need that much money to live here. Naomi, I lost my husband one month ago. We've been here for the first time, and you're the only one I know. I just want to start a new life in a new city and enjoy my first week here with my two daughters. Why do you make it so hard for me? I'm your mother. You're supposed to take care of the woman who gave birth to you. Or am I wrong? All right, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have questioned you about the money. Just please. Whenever you need to use the money from my card, can you please tell me first? Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. So, how's everything? Do you need my help? No. You're busy with your studies. We're fine. Everything's fine. Actually, I have to go to the supermarket right now. I'll text you when I'm back home. Okay, I'll drop by your flat on my way home. That sounds great. I'll cook something for you. Great. I can't wait to try your food. Naomi, I really miss you. I know it's only been a few days since we met again after 20 years, honey. Why don't you call me mom like you call your adoptive mother? Sorry, I'm not used to this new family stuff yet. I mean, it was the first time I met you. And my real mom and my half-sister, Emmy? Actually, I can't believe I would meet you again after such a long time. Yep. Me neither. We've been looking for you for a long time. Thank God. I didn't give up quickly. Right. Thank God. Um, what I want to say is that I need more time to get used to this. I hope you can understand. Alright. I got it. Thanks, Eva. See you tonight. Naomi? Are you at school? I need 300 bucks right now. Excuse me? Who's that? Uh, it's Emmy, your half-sister. Now, hurry up! I'm at the canteen. Come here and bring me some cash. Don't you have any allowance from Olivia or something? Why do you call mom by her name? Kind of complicated. Anyway, 
I've used up my allowance. I'm broke now. That's why I'm asking some from you, my sister. Why does a first-year student like you need that much money in a hurry? For what? Why is a senior like you asking too many questions like that? You don't need to know. Just give me the money. Hey, I'm your older sister. If you don't tell me, I won't give you a penny. Ugh, fine. I'm hanging out with my new friends. I told them the meal would be on me. But, you know, I have like five bucks left. It's definitely not enough for three people. Emmy, if you don't have enough money for the meal, you should tell them and cancel the date. No way! Are you crazy? I don't want them to look at me like a poor girl from an unknown village. That's pathetic. I'm gonna be a good, generous friend in their eyes. Is that the way you're making friends? By giving them free wheels to make them impressed, even though you're broke? Oh yeah, that's how I make friends in college. What's wrong? I can see you're not making friends at all. Instead, you're letting them take advantage of you. Then I guess you have a better way, huh? I heard that you just go back and forth between home and school. You're such a real nerd that you have literally no friends. Have you ever had a boyfriend, Naomi? No, but that's not the problem. Emmy, open your eyes. That kind of friendship isn't going to last long. Whatever. I don't need anyone to teach me how to become an adult, okay? Naomi, I'm leaving in 10 minutes. And I want 300 bucks. Are you gonna give it to me? Or should I ask your new mother? What? Why don't you ask our mother? She withdrew $1,500 from my account like a week ago. You fool! Do you think that she still has that money? Well, I don't think so. Our mom is a professional at spending money. She goes shopping every day. Are you sure? She told me that she needed money for groceries and food. If not, what did she spend my money on? $1,500 in just a week? I don't know and I don't care. The only thing I want to know is whether you'll give me the money or not. You know, I have your other mom's phone number and I bet she doesn't mind giving her daughter's half-sister a little pocket money. It's your choice. Don't bother her. I'll give you money, but only 100 bucks. That's more than enough for a meal with your friends in a nice cafeteria. Hey, that's not enough for us. At least you have to give me 250 bucks. I don't have $250 for you. I need to save money to pay my own bills. Are you really the daughter of a professor? You don't even have enough $300 to give to your sister? That's ridiculous. Don't bargain with me, Emmy. $100 or nothing. Fine, I'll take it. But remember to save my number because I'm texting you very soon. Hey, Naomi, are you there? Hey, what's up? I need more money. Give me some. You just texted me when you need something, don't you? Of course. What else should I talk to you about? Your love life? <laughs> you don't even have a boyfriend or girlfriend. Stop it. That's not the attitude you should have when asking for help. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not asking for help. You promised to support me and mom, remember? Yes. That's why I gave you $100 just two days ago. Did you blow it already? Why are you so surprised? It was just $100. You said like it was $1,000. Anyway, I want to buy new clothes and makeup. You need to transfer $500 into my new account. ASAP. What? Are you kidding me? No. I'm shopping at the Super Center with my college friends. They're going to show me around some famous stores with the most beautiful designs. I'm going to spend a lot, so hurry, send me $500. You're being ridiculous. Do you know that? What do you mean by that? I mean, money doesn't grow on trees. It's not always available. You have to work hard to have it. But look at you. You're asking for money already. Like $1,000 is waiting for you to use. I can do that because I know you have that much money. If you say so, it seems like you can give me more than $500, huh? How about $1,500? The same amount you gave mom last week. Don't you understand what I said? Listen, Emmy, I'm your half-sister. Not your wallet. And I don't have as much money as you think. You're a liar. Because I know you do. Your adoptive parents are wealthy. They earn thousands of dollars monthly. Isn't it funny when you say you don't have much money? 
That's their money. Not mine, okay? Yes, and you're their daughter. You can spend how much money you want. Well, I know you gave mom the card your new parents created for you. Why don't you give me one? I bet they created a lot of bank accounts for you. There's only one, and I gave it to Olivia just because she needs a card to pay for stuff. It's true that they created it for me, but I'd never use a penny from that card until you two came here. Then you can start using it now. No. I'm mature and independent now. I moved out and stopped asking them for money when I was a freshman like you. I'm living alone and working my ass off to pay my bills and tuition fees. To be honest, that card is just a backup for an emergency. Oh. I'm really an emergency right now. I have to ask mom to give me the card. No, Emmy, you're not in an emergency. You're just being childish, so don't think about taking it from her. You know what? I think you should start being an adult from now on by finding a part-time job. Oh, psh. Why do I have to suffer from labor while I have a rich sister like you? After all, you're gonna inherit all of your parents' assets soon. Cause you're their only child. Although, adopted. No matter what you say, I won't send you a penny this time. Oh, come on, Naomi. Just $1,500, and I won't ask you for any more, ever. I said no. You're so spoiled that you just take from others and never give. Do you think I believe that you'll never ask me for money again? Oh my gosh. I hate to say this, but we're family. You're the only one with money, so just share it. You have to support me until I graduate. How many times do I have to tell you and Olivia that it's not my money? Don't take it for granted, because it doesn't belong to me. If you don't give me more money, what should I do now? I'm with my friends. If I don't buy anything, they'll make fun of me and never ask me out again. Then I'm gonna be isolated for the next four years. That's terrible. You can't let your sister be isolated and have no friends like you. Ugh, it sucks. Emmy, stop whining. It'll not be bad like that. If they're your true friends, they're not gonna leave you even though you don't have money for now. If they still choose to make fun of you, you should leave them and go find a real friend. Again, choose a good friend. Don't give free meals. Friendships blah 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 blah. How can you say so while you don't even have a friend? I'm sick of your lessons. I just tell you what I have to do. What a sister will do. You're merely my half-sister. Don't cross the line. Dang it. If my dad weren't dead, I'd have never moved to this state or met you again. You're just a jinx. Ever since mom talked about you, everything sucked. Emmy, stop. Don't talk to me in that way. That's rude. What's wrong? I can do anything I want and no one can stop me. That you're adopted by a rich family makes you so arrogant that you think you're better than us, huh? But you're only an abandoned daughter. <laughs> Correct your words, Emmy. I wasn't abandoned. Olivia lost me when I was two. And you trust her? Naomi, you're such a stupid girl. If mom hadn't left you in front of that church, you'd be stuck with mom and me in a small house in an unknown village not a daughter of a rich family as you are now. What are you talking about? Did she leave me there? She told me that we lost each other that day. Tell me, what do you know? Transfer $1,500 into my bank account and then I tell you. What? Are you insane? Nope, you asked me to make my own money, so this is my way. Actually, I won't get any benefits if you know this. On the contrary, mom would probably throw me out of the house if I let you know her secret. Only $500. Sorry, lady. My information is worth $1,500. There's no way I'll accept that price. $300. Or I'll ask her by myself and you'll get nothing. She'll never tell you what I know. If she wanted you to know the truth, she'd tell you right on the first day we met again. $150? Or, I'll kick you out of the house, and you're living in rent-free. You should know that I'm always available to help you move out. What? How dare you? I want $1,500, not $150. $100. And if you say one more word, there'll be no deal between us. Fine. You're such a witch. Do your new parents know how evil you are? You want to cancel the deal? No, please. 
Send me a hundred bucks and I'll tell you what really happened that day. You have no choice, Emmy. You'll tell me first. Ugh. Okay. One day, I accidentally heard mom and dad talking about a girl. Of course, that's you. Mom said she'd got pregnant with a man she didn't even know the name of. When she met my dad, she wanted to hide you away so that she could marry him. Then she decided to abandon you instantly. She brought you far away and left you in front of a church. Wow, what a great story. I'm telling you the truth. I guess you made it up so that you could take my money, right? Believe it or not, you still have to give me $100. That's the deal. What if you told a lie? Then I lost $100 for nothing. I'm not stupid. When you decided to make this deal, why didn't you think that I'd make up story? Go ask mom to check what I said. You said she would never tell me the truth. But if you promise to give her some benefits, like some more cash, I bet she'll be ready to tell you everything. I guess she's used up 1500 by now. Okay, but if I found out what you said is wrong, I'll kick you out right away. Huh? I'll never leave that house. Just let you know that. Honey? I want to talk to you. Are you free? What a coincidence. I have something to ask you too. Listen to me first, cause this is an emergency. All right, what's going on? I'm withdrawing a little cash from your card, but I can't. I've tried a thousand times, but it still doesn't work. How much do you want to withdraw? Well, just a little bit more than last time. More than $1,500? Be more specific, Olivia. How much exactly? Um, only 3000 What? Are you serious? Yes, of course. What's wrong? How about the $1,500 I gave you last week? Did you blow it all? Honey, I really want to be thrifty. But it turned out that living in a city costs more than I thought. I've got a lot of things to spend money on. But even so, it's not that expensive. What did you buy? I told you, groceries and food, and maybe some new clothes. Okay, forget it. Can you tell me why you need $3,000 now? What are you going to spend that money on? Groceries or expensive clothes? Naomi, I'm your mom, not your child. Don't query me about how I spend my money. Olivia, it's neither yours nor mine. It's my parents' money. You still remember, right? Are you trying to protect your fake parents' money from your real mom, Naomi? No, I didn't mean that. If I were trying to protect it from you, I wouldn't have offered to pay $4,800 for renting the flat that you and Emmy are living in. What if they know you spent almost $5,000 from their card in just a month, or even less? Do you mean they would think I'm a gold digger or something? Well, not really. Wow, I can't believe that my daughter thinks I'm a gold digger. I didn't say that. I just want you to understand that I can't give you $3,000 now. Then the same amount as last time is fine. But this car doesn't work. Can you give me another one? Because I'm in a hurry right now. Sorry, I can't. Actually, I had that bank account frozen this afternoon. What's the matter with you? Why did you do that? That's my question too. Why did you do that to me? Huh? I don't get it. What are you talking about? Okay, let me ask you again. Why did you leave me on that day 20 years ago? Oh, honey, I told you before, I lost you that day. You don't have to lie to me because I know the truth. You dumped me that day. No, I didn't. Who told you that nonsense? Emmy, she eavesdropped on the conversation between you and your husband. This morning, she told me about what you did to me. Is that why you lost the card after that? Yes. I want to know the truth. Why did you abandon me? Oh my god, Naomi. Don't trust what Emmy said. You know you have rich parents. 
but she has only a poor mom like me. Her dad passed away over a month ago. I guess she's so jealous of you that she made up that story to mess you up a little. How childish she is. I'll scold her when I'm back home. Don't be sad, honey. I never dumped my daughter. Now unlock the card for me. No, not until you stop lying and tell me the truth. Why are you so annoying? There's only one truth which I've just told you, okay? I didn't abandon you. Since that day 20 years ago, I've never stopped looking for you, sweetie. Then why didn't Emmy know about me until recently? She's just a child. Although I'm her mother, I have to admit that she's not a good child. Emmy doesn't care about anything but herself. I want to ask my grandparents about this. Can you send me their phone numbers? I think your grandparents don't know about this either. We were not close. So I didn't share much about myself and my life after I moved out. At least there's someone like your friends or colleagues that knew what happened to me, right? I'm afraid no. Fine. Tell me about that day. How did you lose me at the church? What was I wearing? What did I look like when I was two? I guess... Oh, you were wearing a pink dress. You have a favorite pink dress, right? What else? Short hair. I remember you had a scar on your leg. But I forgot which one. Are you sure? Do you know what you're saying? Oh dear, it's been a long time and I'm old now. I can't clearly remember anything from 20 years ago. Wow, it definitely took me by surprise. Huh? Am I wrong? Absolutely. You said you missed me and tried to look for me, but you remember nothing. No way that I'm wrong. Your new mom said that you had a favorite pink dress. I thought it was the dress you were wearing that day. Wasn't it? It's the first present I received from my adoptive parents. That's why I like it and keep it until now. You know what? The more you say, the more I believe in myself. Sorry, I don't want to chat with you if you keep lying to me. Wait. Okay, fine. I admit that I abandoned you, but I had to. I was too poor to raise you all by myself. You're still lying. You dumped me so that you could get married to a man. Ugh, yes. Still the same. I was young and wanted to start a new life. How could I bring you with me? He wouldn't have married me if he'd known I'd had a baby. So, Emmy's right. I wish she made it up. But I don't understand how you could find me when you didn't know anything about me. Well... I knew you were adopted by a rich family a few months later. Somehow, I found out where you were living. I'm glad about what I did. So now I can meet you again. Naomi, I know that you're upset with me, but now we're finally reunited after 20 years. That's the bottom line, right? Olivia, I need more time to think about this. I understand, but honey, before that, can you send me $3,000 first? Well, $1,500 is okay. What? No, I told you that I wouldn't give you any more money. What's wrong with you? I admitted what I did to you. Isn't that enough for you? I don't have time for this. Hurry up, give me that money right now. After all, don't you feel guilty for asking the daughter you abandoned for such a ridiculous amount of money? Of course not. I gave birth to you. You should show gratitude to me, your birth mom, by sending me your money whenever I ask. Don't your new parents teach you that? I can't believe I have such a grasping, greedy mother like you. Come again? I said, you're not my mother. You abandoned me! Naomi, whatever you say, you can't deny the truth that I'm your mother. How can you call yourself my mother? You come to me just because you think you can leech off of my new family. No love, just money. That's all. Yes, you're right. All I need is your money. If you don't give it to me... What will you do? I'll go to your house and stay there until you and your parents give me $3,000. You haven't been to my house or my parents. We only met outside. Then I'll go to your school. 
I'll tell the whole school that you're abandoned. Do you know that I finished studying and I'm just waiting for graduation? No matter what you say, it'll never bother or affect me anymore. Really? So, where are you? Send me your address. Naomi! After what you did, I don't want to meet you or Emmy again. You're literally gold diggers. Why should I need a family which never welcomes me? Naomi, listen to me. I'm your mom, so you have to help me. Just one more time. Only $1,500 and I'll never contact you, okay? Once is enough. You can be my mother, but you'll never be my mom. Well, I don't think you should stay at the house my parents rented for you. I'd like you to move out tomorrow. You want to kick us out? In just a day? Naomi, we have nowhere to go. You can't do this to me. I don't care. I only abandon you like the way you did it to me. Goodbye, mother. After that incident, I was so fed up with Mrs. Olivia and her wretched daughter that I decided to block them from my life entirely. I mean, who needs their drama and negativity, right? Little did I know, though, that they were about to embark on a journey of their own. I heard through the grapevine that they had to venture out into the real world and actually work hard to earn a single dime. It's like they finally realized that money doesn't magically appear out of thin air. But here's the kicker. They didn't just stop there. Oh no, they had the audacity to keep coming back time and time again demanding more and more money from us. It was as if they thought we were some sort of bottomless piggy bank. Well, let me tell you, my friend, that's not happening again. We've learned our lesson, and we won't be taken advantage of one more time. <laughs>